What's up everybody, I'm Jason and welcome back to some more tips and tricks for the Canon EOS R5. So today we're going to be talking about pretty much a, a pretty niche feature, but it does fall in with the whole audio process that I've been talking about. And it's also one of the recording options or modes that you have on the camera. So I think it's probably worth talking about simply because it's there and simply because if you don't know about it and you need to use it, you might want to know about it. And if you have seen it, you might want to know about what it is so that you maybe don't use it if it's not what's not right for you. So what we're talking about today is second card audio. And like I said, it's a niche feature. What this does is creates a low quality standalone WAV file that's saved to the second card. Now, when you're doing two card recording on the R5C with both cards being used, the CF Express card is considered the first card all the time. And the SD card is always considered the second card. If you're doing one card recording, then you can switch which card your camera actually will record to. Now, I said it's low quality. What do I mean by that? Well, it's 16 bit, 8 kilohertz, single channel. About the only thing that's not low quality about that is the fact that this is uncompressed LPCM audio. So it's really compatible, but it's also pretty small in terms of overall file size by being not really that great. And I should point out that even though when you record in slow and fast motion with audio, that records a separate audio file as well, these are not the same or quality standards or settings. This equality only applies when you are doing second card audio recording. Additionally, when you do record second card audio, this doesn't supplant the normal quality audio that's being recorded on your in your video file. That's still going to be there. This is a completely separate isolated file. You're probably asking if you know anything about audio recording, you're immediately going, why would I want to use this? That's garbage quality. Eight kilohertz sample rate is awful. I mean, is that a typo? Do they mean 48 kilohertz? No, it really is eight kilohertz. And you're right. For the vast majority of us who are using the camera in a cinematic or even a YouTube type application, there really isn't any point turning on and recording second card audio. So who might want to use this or where might you want to use this? And the best that I can come up with is that this is really for journalists that need a rapid turnaround for their editors. Audio is often enough that an editor could either start having it be transcribed, it could they could hand it off to a writer to start writing an article on the interview or whatever the content was. And eight kilohertz, while that is not great audio quality, it is good enough for you to understand voice. So this is kind of what it sounds like. In fact, this is exactly what it sounds like pulling this video or this audio straight off of the second card from my camera. So you have a separate file that's comparatively small because it's only about 128 kilobit per second bitrate. That's good enough for transcription or to use as a, an understanding of what people said. And that's really all that this is good for. If you happen to decide, be in the camp that might find this useful, there are some limitations that go along with it. So the second card audio will not be recorded if the video file that it would be associated with also cannot be recorded. So if your video card is full and you hit record, the camera won't record second card audio. It's not a backup in that sense and it can't be used as a voice recorder without recording video. Second of all, for whatever reason, Canon has decided that you can only save 999 of these second card audio files per card. So they get put in their own special directory. And when there's a 999 files there, even though they're not numbered one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, then they camera will just not record the second card audio when you try to record the thousandth file. Finally, there are second, additionally, the card will, or the camera will not record the second card audio file if a file with its name, the same name already exists. And the final limitation is that the second card audio recording will stop after six hours of running. So the camera has no problem recording video for well in excess of six hours. But if you're recording audio, second card audio, at least that second card file will stop at the six hour mark. 
So if this sounds like something you want to try or use, this is how you set it up. There's two ways to go about doing it. The first way is through the menus. So you're going to head over to the Recording Media Setup menu, page three, and you're going to uh, select the second card record function uh, entry that'll be at the top of the page. And then you're going to select card one main, card two audio recording. Now you'll notice that the cards are the CF Express card with one in it and the SD card with a two in it. Uh, so that's exactly where things are going to get routed. The other way to do this is through the direct touch control system. So on the LCD screen in live view, you're going to tap the direct touch control virtual button in the bottom left corner, then the recording settings uh, menu button at the top left corner. And then on the recording settings one menu page, you're going to go to the second row, second card record functions, tap that, and then select card one main, card two audio record. Now, once you've got your shot, your clip shot and your video done and all of that, where are these audio files? Well, they're stored in the folder private and then the subfolder audio on your second card. And they'll be named somewhat in accordance with the standard of the video clip name and the date and time that it was recorded. So yes, this is a niche feature. It is useful potentially if you're a journalist and you need to be able to fire back information to your editor very quickly. In fact, you could almost even edit a video working off of the audio. They are in sync. They do have the same time codes. So that would also potentially work. So if you found this useful or at least interesting, let me know by hitting that like button. If this kind of thing seems like it might be your kind of thing, please consider subscribing if you're not already. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.